Hey up, welcome back to Man Cave Workshop and thank you so much for joining me again. Okay, moving along with this radio. Now, there's been a bit of a problem. Um, look back through the videos, you'll notice when I took the, the knobs off these shafts, uh, they were they came off really easy. There was hardly any friction on at all. So what I did, I, I opened up the slots a little bit to get a bit more friction on and put them on and off. And when I took this one off, this is what happened. The shaft came completely out. Now, if you remember this, this is, I've had a look up, this is an, an on and off uh, pot as, as well as the volume. And it didn't actually switch off. So whether this has been damaged in the past, I don't know. But what we're going to do, we're going to take it out and have a look at it. And see if we can't fix it. So without further ado, we'll get the, the soldering irons on. Uh, I've got the camera in a little bit of a different angle from the last few videos. Uh, just to give me a bit more, more working space. So let's get the soldering iron on and get this pot out of here. What I'm going to do is, and I get, I've come totally unprepared. We get the solder sucker, uh, a bit of flux. The soldering iron is on. Um, we're going to drop a bit of flux on these solder points because I, I just find it it makes it easier to get the the solder off quite a lot of times. Oh, let's get flux all over this. Now, worst comes to it, I have been waiting for parts on it. I didn't have any high voltage caps. I did say in the last video that I was waiting on parts, so I am. So let's let's just get this pot out of here. And then we can see if we can open it up and have a look at it. I've got the soldering iron on and I'm just gonna desolder all these um all these wires. So I'll get on with this and then we'll come back when the, the wires are, are desoldered. Right, okay, let's see if we can get this camera in a bit closer. <clears throat> right, so we just desoldered these wires, ended up cutting one because it was just being a pain, so I couldn't be bothered. Just, just cut it off. Let's get this pot out. Of the chassis. Okay. Well, that wasn't very tight at all, didn't need a spanner. Not sure on this camera angle whether whether it's good enough or not. Okay. Right. Oh of course it oh it does come out. Okay. Let's get rid of the chassis, we'll come back to that later. fixing this pot and if we can't fix it then we're gonna have to order another one okay might as well pull the shaft out because that's had it now how's it held in so if you look at it it's got these little um sort of leaves that that go over so I, should, I think that might all that might all all be all come to part if we just pull them leaves off of her. Let's get a screwdriver and have a go at that. Okay. Okay. Let's lift that one up. Lift this one up. Of course, that one's got that waxy stuff on it, but they, they seem to have liked to have used a lot of that on this radio. Okay. Get some more pliers and just bend them up out of the way. It's all coming apart now anyway. I mean, you know, what have you got to lose if, if the, the pot's had it anyway? So what have we got to lose? Let's see if we can fix it. So that's got that 
contact there. There's the wiper. And oh, look at all this in here. Will that just drop out? So there's the wiper. Where does that sit? It doesn't look very good, does it? It looks all loose. It just fell out. And there's a the switch. All right, I'm going to get this under the. Oh, you can see this is actually cracked. You see that? The whole disc has gone. I wonder if we can't glue that back together. Get that up for a close up. I'm going to get it under the. Uh, under the magnifier. I don't think we've got any chance of getting this back bit off, and, and that's the switch bit. And that's that's the bit that's failed, but it looks like it's looks like it's riveted in. Now whether we can drill them out, you can actually see they go through. Let me get something to press it out. And they come out there. But I'm gonna get it under the magnifying glass and see what's going on here with this. Okay. <clears throat> so let's let's get you closer in so you can see what I'm seeing. I mean really close in here. So the way it works, just working out is this goes through here. There's the well the, the actual wiper is this bit. So this sits in here like that we just pull that out shaft goes through this bit's cracked but that actually sits in there you can see that's notched out I'll get it close so you can see it that sits in there and then this bit here this bit of plastic sticking out must work this switch here, so I'm nudging the camera all the way over like that. Now it wasn't doing it. You see that one, one will be off and one will be on. It is quite hard to push that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the meter on these terminals and uh, just to make sure that switch works. Then we're going to have to try and This takes a lot of pressure looking at that. Must sit in somehow like that. No wonder it's cracked. Perhaps it's got brittle over time. That's that's quite hard to do. That we're going to see if this switch works, and we're going to have a go at putting it back together and see if it all uh, see if it all fails dreadfully or we've fixed it. Okay. Okay, we've got the meter set to continuity. Let's get uh, clips on this on these two terminals. Gosh, that came out completely, didn't it? Okay. Now it's trying to eat me. Okay, let's get that on there, that on there. So at the moment we haven't got continuity. And now we have. So so yeah, the switch does work. So we don't want to be messing with this now because we know that switch actually works. Let's have a go at gluing this up and getting the thing back together. Okay. Right, okay. So I've managed to get some glue down there and it does seem to be uh, quite firm now. So what I'm going to do is Kind of do a bit of a dry run to see how, how this works. So let's put the shaft in. Oh, I had to I had to file lightly around the edges here because I was trying while it was out to get it to seat back in in that that hole that's the same sort of thing and it just it was no way it was going in. So I've just filed gently around the edges there. Let's, uh, let's get the shaft in. Oh, here we go. Aren't they good, these fiddly things? And so the wiper, I imagine, has to run. Okay. Let's just put it in because it's, it's going to spin around anyway and see where we're going. That's not all the way on now. 
but that will run pretty much like that. And you can see that wiper there, it's got to go from there to there. I don't even know what uh, K this, this pot is. And then that bit there, I somehow got to switch this switch this way and this way. So let's just offer it up to see how that would work. See, I don't know how that, oh, that, so that goes on that way. So if that span now, I just want to determine what position that switch needs to be in before I put the thing back together. And of course it's difficult to see, it's difficult to see. That's how it was before it was, it's not switching the switch on or off. So if that's on a spring, when this is in the off position, it should just be off and then when you switch it on, it should just flick it on. I'm going to get the meter back on and determine which side this has to be to be on and off and then I've got more of a chance then. Okay. Okay, so I've been playing around with this uh, this pot. We've got it all back together and, and solid. But I think this switch is broken in here because when it goes to the off position, it goes way too far far over that side. I've got the lighting properly so you can see. On this side there's a little stopper but on the other side there isn't. And once it's gone over to that off position and it's really far over here, it, it fouls this piece of plastic and there's no way that piece of plastic can turn it. Now, I, still, I haven't figured it out right but when it's in the on position the pot works just as a volume pot like that as soon as I put that in the off position I do think it's gone over too far it, it hasn't got oh, it, it hasn't got the strength to, to push that whether this is worn, but it, it just sort of slides past it and it doesn't push it to the on position. So when I got the radio, that must have been in the on position because it wouldn't actually switch off, but you still get the volume. So for now, I'm, ju I'm just going to put it back in for now and uh, and perhaps order a new pot. We'll measure the resistance. I think it's, I, I tried to measure it before. I think it's a 10K pot. So... Let's just remeasure that, and make sure. Get the meter on it. Good idea to do it while it's out. And that's gone up to 12. Why is that? Okay. They're all dropping down, 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 down. Up. Am I touching these together? Right, let's drop it down. So it goes from zero up to 12. Okay, so is that a 12K pot? Try and pretend I know what I'm talking about. I think a 10K pot is probably do. It might be wrong. So I'll, I'll put it back in for now, then we can carry on testing the radio and um, see how far we get. Okay, so we've just popped it back in place for now. So we can carry on testing this radio. So I hope you enjoyed having a look at that pot with me. It was interested to pull it apart and have a see how it works. Um, say this one, the switch, there's definitely something not quite right there. So I think it needs a replacement. So for now, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for joining me. And I hope to catch you in the next one.